Hey, good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borg. This is, of course, now, like I always say, an extension of our True Philadelphia Sports Camp. Of course, unfortunately, our season is delayed. What they should have done was pause the game, not have played the last game of the Marlins series, got everything figured out, got the Marlins figured out, and then been able to not potentially lose four games for the price of one, like the league seemed to end up deciding. But in the end, we finally had them make the right decision. The Marlins aren't active until at least next Sunday. Jeff Passan tweeted the early fallout from the vi- coronavirus outbreak in the Marlins clubhouse is here. The Marlins have shut down through at least Sunday. And then the, the Marlins series versus the Orioles has been postponed. And instead, the Yankees will play Baltimore tomorrow and Thursday. So the MLB <clears throat> is trying to give some games there to teams so they get as close to 60 games. That's a wise decision. The Yankees, we shouldn't have played. I said this on a podcast we did with Jason the Pennant yesterday. Please check that out. We do amazing stuff over there. They shouldn't play a game in CBP until Friday. Unfortunately, they have to play by Friday. They would have had even more time to clean the stadium and do all the cleansliness. But Toronto can't play in Toronto, and Buffalo isn't going to be ready. By <clears throat> by Friday, excuse me, I've been talking a lot recently, Buffalo's not going to be ready by Friday. So they have to put in all the lighting, they have to do all that good stuff, and they're not going to be ready until a couple weeks from now. So this is the right decision. The Phillies aren't going to come back until at least Friday against Toronto, and that's going to be the earliest we come back, assuming our testing. We had zero positives from today's results. But COVID usually sits and doesn't present itself until potentially 48 hours or more later. So these next round of tests, that's why it's very cautious and the wise decision finally by the league to decide to play off and wait until Friday. They should have decided to not play the Miami game and actually had something in the 101 page or 131 page, whatever it was, protocol. Either point it was enough pages to have a direct thing rather than having players have a group text or clubhouse meeting, whatever it was, it wasn't specific exactly what it was, to eventually decide to play or not in the midst of an outbreak in their organization. That was not wise by the MLB. But, you know, it happened. I think now they're finally making the wise decision. The Marlins are off until at least Sunday, which would make, I believe, uh, Matt Gelb tweeted that, I'm about to pull it up, but Matt Gelb tweeted that would put our first game, or their first game would then be against us next Tuesday. He said what he said exactly was, so if the rearranged schedule goes as planned, the Marlins' next game will be a week from today, but it will be in Miami against the Phillies. So that'll be interesting to see what the Phillies rule there. After all, this hoopla with the Marlins up here, apparently the Nationals have voted not to go to Miami For the weekend series, the MLB obviously took that into consideration. And, of course, the Marlins have more positive tests, so they had to cancel those games. But I'm hoping that had a big factor as well, the Nationals voting not to go. I'm hoping that had a huge factor as well. So assuming that did, then if the Phillies vote and don't want to go there, I think it's a bad idea to go in that hot spot. I personally believe... The Marlins should not be playing in Miami right now. I also said this on the Chase and the Pennant. Again, please check that out. Because it's a hot spot, they could just play their home games in an away stadium just like the Blue Jays are doing because the only advantage you have is knowing the the corners and caveats of the stadium. There's no fans. There's, There's no advantage there. It's just knowing the corners and caveats of a stadium. So I personally believe that the Marlins should be able to play up here. And Tampa really probably, instead of playing the series down there, should just play on the road. But Miami's by far the worst in Florida. And they're already having a huge issue with their team. It just seems kind of dumbfounding and stupid to send them immediately back down to Miami after you solve this issue. It would make a hell of a lot more sense just to do what you're doing with Toronto and have them play here. But I assume the league's looking into that as well. And now playing here 
on Friday would be the first game as of now if all goes as planned and our tests continue to come back negative and all goes as planned for the Phillies will be Friday against the Jays in Philly with us as the away team because it was supposed to be in Toronto, so that'll be interesting. But And then it would also be next week against the Marlins, which I think they should move to here in my opinion. But we'll see what happens there. They did the right decisions finally. They made the wrong decision by having that game be Monday or be um, the other day. And then they officially just came out now. The Marlins are off until Monday and Phillies won't play until Friday. And Yankees at O's is Wednesday, Thursday as an official thing to wrap out this this mini vidcast. But this has been a short video reacting to the Phillies layoff and the Marlins layoff. It's the right decision. The MLB finally made the right and wise decision. They didn't make it at first, but they finally made it in general. And that's fantastic to see. So finally, and peace out. Have a great day. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borick. And for the True Philadelphia Sportscast team, peace out, everybody.